everybody, it's Cindy at Upcycle Design Lab. You'll have to bear with me today. I'm in the middle of a cold, so I'm a little snuffly. But we're going to be making a fused glass pendant in the Fuseworks microwave kiln. And we're using recycled glass and kind of embedding this uh, four leaf clover shape in the middle. And we're also going to be using the alcohol ink from la the last video. If you're new to fusing glass, this is maybe a little more uh, advanced project. I'll put some links to some other projects that I've made that are a little simpler to start. But for this project, I used some of the kiln paper and cut out a shamrock shape. And then I had some glass from an old frame because I wanted to use flat glass. Uh, most of my projects I've been using bottle glass, but I needed flat pieces for this project, so um, I'm using glass from an old frame, and I'm cutting squares about an inch and a half by an inch and a half. I'm cutting two squares. Once that was done, I was ready to fuse the first piece, and I'm cutting just a small square to put on the kiln to protect the kiln itself. And then the shamrock shape that I've cut out of the kiln paper goes on top of that. And then I'm stacking, I wanted this pendant to be square, so I'm stacking my two clear pieces on top of both of the pieces of, fuse, of uh, fusing paper. This piece was fused to a full fuse, which took about three and a half minutes, and I checked it every minute or 30 seconds just to see how it was progressing. This is the piece after I'd let the kiln cool down for about 45 minutes. It's still pretty warm, but you can see that it has a nice um, shape where the shamrock paper is. And once it's a little cooler, you can just peel the paper off and then scrape out the rest of the paper and you have a little indentation that is in the shape of the shamrock. And then it's pretty easy just to scrub out any remaining paper with a little bit of water. There are a few sharp edges when you're done, so I've recommended in other videos that you just sand down the corners and the edges with a tile sanding block that you can find at Home Depot. To color the shamrock, I used some green alcohol ink that I made in a previous video. And I started with using a paintbrush and then switched to a Q-tip till I got the effect that I wanted. To seal the alcohol ink and to make the pendant a little, give it a little more weight, I took another piece, uh, a single piece of square glass that had been fused and sanded and just used some gorilla glue, uh, clear Gorilla Glue to glue the two pieces together. To assemble the pendant, I used some 20 gauge wire, which is pretty heavy wire, some jewelry pliers. Um, regular pliers and then uh, just took the pendant and uh, I cut the wire to about 18 inches and I'm not a professional jewelry maker but um, basically what I'm doing here is just 
putting the folding the wire in half and then wrapping it three times around the jewelry pliers so that I have a nice sturdy loop that's and then just sort of twisting it off and then because there are two pieces of glass it's actually pretty easy just to wrap the wire around both sides and then twist it off at the top and I did go ahead and just secure all, all the way around the edges with some clear Gorilla Glue just to make sure that the wire would not slip off. Once the glue was dry, I used the regular pliers to trim the wire and to tuck in the ends. And there you have your fused glass shamrock pendant, all ready for St. Patrick's Day. Thanks for watching.